All right, so let's do a great knot that is pretty simple to do for attaching two line types. I have a 60 pound braided that's a little bit thicker and lighter in color up top. On the bottom, I have a 20 pound braided that is darker and definitely thinner for a little bit of contrast for you. Uh, you can attach braided to braided with this without doubling it up. And what I mean by that is this is doubling it up. But I, I always double it up when I do this uni to uni knot just so it's a little thicker and stronger, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it should be fine as well. This is a recommended knot. So if with the lines overlaid, you want uh, at least 10 inches there, you're going to grab in the middle of that knot, and you are going to grab and pinch in the middle. So as you can see, our tag end on this right side is our smaller braid. What you want to do is just kind of bring it up and create a loop. So you're going to be pinching right there. This hand on the left is going to be pinching and holding that knot structure. The right hand is going to be the one coming through and bringing this line around both of those lines and through the loop. And we're going to want to do that about mm, six or seven times with this braided because braided slips. So let's just do that six or seven times. We'll call that good enough right now. So what you can do now is make sure you're holding on to the tag end of the thick line and the standing end of the line you're working with. And you only need to grab the tag end here to pull. Make sure you wet the line right about this point. And pull it about 90% tightened. And then we're gonna forget about that guy for right now. And we're gonna do the exact same thing except with the other line on the other side. Now a lot of guys and other fishers, ladies as well, like to just switch this over like that, but it's a little bit difficult for me to do in this filming situation, so I'm just gonna do it uh, this way. So we need to bring our tag end now is the thicker 60 pound lighter colored braided line. We wanna create that loop, so we have a loop we're going to be pinching. And again, we want to bring this through this loop uh, five, six times. Let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five. Again, all I need to do is grab onto this tag end. And I want to grab onto the other knot that I made right now. And we're just going to pull that tag end again. At this point, you would definitely want to wet that line, which we're not doing for this demonstration, and make that about 90% tight. So now all you have to do is, you see how the knots are separated? If you grab the standing end and the standing end, and you just pull, they will come together, and you want to give that a good little tug. Then you want to give each one of your tag ends a little tug. where the knot should separate a little bit because you're tightening out all that last bit. And then you give the main standing ends one last big tug. And that is a good knot, which we can clean up by cutting off these tag ends real quick. Not gonna be the best cuts here, but. With braided line, I always like to get out the fray in the line. This is also important that you wet the knot thoroughly and use your fingernails as a shield wall. The last thing you want to do is get the flame near your knot. Wait till the heat dissipates before you let go. This is a strong knot. Try to tug it to get far there. Very good knot. And that is the double uni or uni to uni knot.